How are you guys? Today is another beautiful day at the farm. I'm very excited to show you my new solar dryer and uh, I'll give you a tour and show you uh, this dryer, how it looks like, how we can use it and uh, how you can use very very simple materials to build a very effective and inexpensive dryer. So as you can see this dryer, the only difference between this dryer and the and a greenhouse is that um, this dryer doesn't have uh, aeration at the bottom. The only point of uh, aeration is uh, at the top of the building. And that's the only point there that the water vapor and the moisture from the products that you are drying gets out of this dryer. As you can see this dryer is very, is very firm. Uh, we built it with my friend and uh, we did it for around a week so it's very it's very effective as you can see the nets that i've used on top of these dryers are the nets uh, second hand nets that uh, have been removed from uh, commercial greenhouses and uh, as you can see this one is very cheap these nets uh, i was buying these nets at uh, 50 shillings for a meter squared and as you can see they are very old uh, for my dryer um, I'm planning to use my dryer to to dry pyrethrum you can also use this dryer to dry fruits and uh, other things that needs drying before selling so for my case as you can see I've been using pyrethrum uh, I've only used this dryer once uh, to give it a, a try and see if it dries well uh, for my pyrethrum the drying period was around uh, three days three days only when the sun is adequate and uh during the rainy season uh the drying period is around a week a week or around eight days so so it's very very effective even for those who are for for the oncoming el nino uh for those who are preparing for the el nino you can also use this dryer to dry your maize cobs and then uh shred those maize cobs later so this one is very very effective as you can see i've used very very cheap uh building materials for the for the roofing i've used branches of trees that uh, we were pruning and as you can see this is the area that uh, this is the only area that uh, we have put the ventilation uh this this area is around uh, one foot as you can see uh at the farm that's uh that's approximately one foot we used to measure one foot using uh, uh the two to the two feet uh the air comes and gets out through that vent this is the the outside area of the of the greenhouse this is the this is the only place where the air gets out of the greenhouse there's no other place where there is aeration in this dryer so as you can see this is the outside part of the of the of the of the of the, of the dryer and it looks very similar with a greenhouse as i have told you earlier the only difference between this dryer and a greenhouse is only that uh, at the bottom there is no aeration so that's uh, i think that's all uh, i've shown you everything you need to know maybe later i'll show you the dimensions so i'll i'll wrap up this video for now but i leave you with these videos of the outside of the dryer as you can see we have used very inexpensive material branches the only thing that was very expensive was posts while well, we used cedar posts they are not allowed by the government to use them but the only posts that we are used are the cedar the rest we have used branches and uh and and bamboo bamboo i get bamboo from my farm so those ones are very very cheap and these papers and and these polythene sheets are uh second hand sheets from uh from uh from uh, from a seller who sells second hand at 50 shillings per square meter so bye for now i'll see you in the next educational video